Hi, we will continue on the discussion on the topic of rocket propulsion. So in this particular video, we will try to go through all of the different type of rocket propellant. The first one is a chemical type rocket propellant. So this is a typical uh, schematic flow of uh, a liquid propellant rocket with gas pressure fit system. Uh, so as we can see here, so there is a, a typical um, uh, optional additional thrust chamber if needed, right? So the to start with, okay, uh, this particular figure shows how the simplified operation so the it start from the high from the middle okay high pressure gas supply tank we have the pressure regulator okay the gas will uh, being bleed through uh, valve uh, check valve and we have the oxidizer tank and the fuel tank where it will be pumped into uh, the what we call the rocket uh, thrust chamber right so as i said earlier uh, we will just go through the different types and we can figure out uh, later on uh, and as well as look into other sources on the detailed operation of the chemical type propellant the second one is the gaseous type propellant similarly with the uh, chemical type propellant it is, uh, but now they use the uh, gases where this particular figure or schematic shown here the liquid propellant rocket engine with turbo pump fit system and a separate gas generator. Okay, so uh, not shown uh, in this particular schematic are the components necessary for controlling the operation. So in terms of the uh, operation where we have the uh, pressurized helium, okay, the gas, helium gas, we have the fuel tank, the oxidizer tank, where uh, the, the, the two are uh, being mixed together, okay, in, in uh, being, being uh, set up in this particular valve and the combustion will occur in the thrust chamber. The most common uh, type of rocket propellant is the solid propellant, right? This is just a simplified perspective of three quarter section of a typical solid propellant rocket motor with the propellant grain bounded to the case, okay? So this is the propellant gain where it is being bound, bounded in the case uh, and the insulation layer and with conical exhaust uh, core nozzle. So we have this uh, conical shape of exhaust nozzle. So the cylindrical case with its forward and aft hemispherical dome form a pressure vessel. Okay, so basically um, it has a few main components where it has the igniter, okay, the motor case body, cylindrical cylinder perforation, slots in grain. So the the basically the thrust will be produced uh, backward okay the next one is hybrid rocket engine so when we look at the um, word or the term hybrid there it is a combination of the uh, liquid as well as the solid fuel eh? where we have here uh, the relative position of the oxidizer tank, high pressure gas tank and the fuel chamber with its nozzle which is also depend on the particular vehicle design. The rocket can also combine with ramjet. Okay, we have a rocket as well as ramjet propulsion. Right? So we have the section of the rocket as well as section of the ramjet where 
uh, air is being bleed into the into the uh, vehicle uh, and then there's also a rocket element there um, elements of an air launch missile normally use this technology with integral uh, rocket ramjet propulsion after the solid propellant has been consumed normally they use this uh, this uh, solid rocket propellant first before they activate the ramjet uh, combustion chamber next uh, electric rocket propulsion okay this is a schematic uh, diagram of a heating electric rocket propulsion system so the 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 arc plasma temperature okay using the arc, uh, arc plasma temperature um, normally around 15000 degrees kelvin and the anode cathode and the chamber will get hot around 1900 degrees kelvin due to heat transfer okay so more and more um, spacecraft especially the satellite uh, being uh, they use electric rocket propulsion to produce the thrust and another uh, simplified schematic diagram also on electric rocket propulsion it shows here a typical ion rocket uh, showing the approximate distribution of the electric power so working fluid is xenon and is being used to go into the the fit control okay ionization device and we have the electrostatic accelerator okay and this is how it's the thrust being produced other concept some are already uh, in the development or still in the conceptual stage okay it is a called a rail accelerator for self-induced magnetic acceleration of a current carrying plasma okay when the capacitor is discharged an arc is struck at the left side of the rail right uh, the high current in the plasma arc induces a magnetic field so they use induced magnetic field and the action of the current and the magnetic field causes the plasma to be accelerated at right angle to both the magnetic field and the current namely in the direction of the rails so uh, this concept are using plasma exhaust which come uh, from parallel rail nozzle the other concepts is a solar thermal rocket okay we have uh, the uh, hydrogen propellant tank we have the gas and it's being being mixed going into the valve where we have parabolic reflector okay for uh, to reflect uh, radiation from the sun okay we have heat exchanger and here um, the thrust being produced okay through the exhaust nozzle right the next video will cover the applications of some of the uh, type of propellant that we have already discussed and we will look into the space launch vehicle the spacecraft as well as the missile thank you very much for now if you have any question or comments please please leave in the youtube link thank you and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh